What's up, guys? Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you guys now with the most recent Seahawk draft picks. So we decide to go with a tackle from Florida, Stone Foresight. Stone Foresight from Florida now coming to the Seattle Seahawks. So let's see now what we're getting out of Stone Foresight. Let me just share the screen really quick and get on there so we can see. So Stone Foresight, tackle, tackle from Florida. All right, so with our pick at 208, we got Stone Foresight. Anish just texted me up there. So 25 starts in past two seasons. Father Ray played in the NFL, six-round number 208 pick overall. So his father played in the NFL too. So Stone Foresight, PFF draft. PFF's best players available after round five, Adarius Washington, Tay Gowen, Thomas Graham, K. Johnson, wide receiver five, and Stone Foresight, Florida. So, all right. So let's look at his college stats. College. All right. So, Florida Gators. Florida Gators. Okay. Let's get into this. So Stone Foresight. Wow. So O line, redshirt senior, high school, West Orange. Six foot nine. You always want height in your offensive linemen. Hometown Winter Gardens, Florida. Finished his career with 40 games played, including 28 starts. 2020 appeared and started in all 12 games. Protected the blind side of Heisman Trophy finals. Kyle Trask to help Gators lead the nation in passing yards per game. 378.6 while ranking eighth nationally in yards per play. 7.28 and ninth in yards per game, 509.8. Recorded his first collegiate defensive tackle at Texas AM, named to the SEC Fall Academic Honor Roll. 2019 appeared and started in all 13 games at left tackle. Helped provide the time for the 16th rank passing offense in the country. Blocked for an offense that ranks 16th nationally in yards per play, 6.5. Named to the SEC Academic Honor Roll. 2018 played all 13 games and started Florida season opener against Charleston Southern at right tackle. Spent time at both guard and tackle when in the lineup. Florida's offensive line allowed just 18 sacks over the course of the entire season, which ranked 20th in the country and third among SEC teams. Served as a key member of Florida's special teams. 2017 played and started in the final two games of the season at right tackle. His start against UAB also marked his collegiate debut. So tackle, is he going to be playing left tackle? Because, you know, Dwayne Brown's getting older. So there we all know Dwayne Brown's getting older and eventually will retire. So is this a deaf move for deaf behind Dwayne Brown? We'll have to wait and see. There's nothing else I got on this guy. So see if there's – check the college stats. That's just his Florida profile. Storm Foresight College Stats. All right, here we go. Oh, damn it. Sometimes my computer fucks up. 2020 SEC Defense and Fumbles. Mm. So, finally bolstered up the offensive line. Yep, 312 pounds. 312 pounds, though. It's pretty... That's a pretty decent size. Not really finding anything else, but yep. About time we made a move on the offensive line. Had a feeling we would be making another move for the offensive line. Our next pick won't be until the seventh round. So give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Florida Gator fans, let us know what we got in this pick. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and get back to you when the next one happens. I'll do a recap of the draft sometime soon, maybe tomorrow with Michael Mathis so we can recap our draft picks. And yeah, so Stone Foresight, Foresight coming from Florida. PFF, two sacks allowed in 2020. Wow. He had two, only allowed two sacks in 2020. So let's hope we got something here. If you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. As always, go Seahawks.